Welcome back to eCraft Geeks guys. So today we are up with a new project. Smart Classrooms. The list of components required for the Smart Classrooms are Arduino Uno R3, Arduino Cable, Male to Female Jumpers, Male to Male Jumpers, 2 IR Modules, Resistors of 220 Ohms, 7 Segment Display and a Breadboard. The figure shown is the schematic of Smart Classroom. Make the connections in accordance with the circuit diagram shown in the video. So guys let's begin with the code. Declare the variables used to indicate the Arduino pins to be connected to the pins of the IR module. That is the data of the IR module to be given to the Arduino. It is stored in the variables IR exit and IR enter. Declare the variables for the 8 pins of the 7 segment display. Declare the variables to store the data and for incrementing and decrementing the counter. The common pin of the 7 segment display is directly connected to the ground. There are different functions for display of various numbers which are to be displayed by the output of the counter. The functions such as 1, 2, 3, 4 are made. Now let's begin with the initialization part of the code that is the void setup. Define the pins as input of the data of the IR sensor module that are to be entered in the IR enter variable and IR exit variable. Define the pins of the 7 segment module as output. And now let's begin with the next important parts of the code. Void enter. The function will increment the variable store value for the count. Void exit. 
the function will decrement the variable store value for the count. Now let's begin with the most important part of the code that is the void loop. Two variables decrement value and increment value are used to read the values coming from the IR enter and IR exit. Here we have used digital read as the IR modules are connected to the digital pins. After storing the data coming from the IR module we have used if else loop where if the IR enter is cut the increment value variables get gets high then it should understand that the person has entered the room then enter function is called and the counter is incremented. If if else loop is used over here in the nested form for displaying the number. Similarly for else if loop if there is the IR exit cut the decrement value variable gets high then it should understand that the person has left the room and then exit function is called and the counter is decremented. In this if else loop we have used in the nested form for calling the function and displaying the number.